No, I don't know. But there's there's some sugar today, but it's just on that foul, bro. I gotta be foul, bro. They be hacking me. You see, like they think because I'm big, I don't I don't get fouled. I'm supposed to power through it. They seem to call a couple fouls tonight. You got yeah, they 13 free throws. Mm -hmm. Come on. All right. Um, hey, before we get started, just want to make sure I think I gave everybody the permission to record. If you do not, please note that uh, now and then go ahead and uh, line up in the chat for um, for questions and we'll get started with these guys. Let me check one more time here. Okay, I think I've got everybody. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started with uh, with Kofi and Trent. Uh, Jeremy, go ahead and start off. Hey, this is for both of you guys. Um, what do you feel about how you guys responded to the last couple of losses, and what do you think was the key to getting off to a good start? Um, I think Coach said it the best in the locker room after the game. Um, everybody, you know, contributed tonight. Everybody did their role. Everybody came in with, you know, with some sort of energy, you know, just played their butts off for 40 minutes, you know, when it was their time when Coach subbed them in. So, you know, I think that it started right from the jump, you know. Uh, Jake gave us a really, really big time spark, you know, just on the offensive glass. Uh, also, I mean, obviously, Kobe, he's going to give us that, you know, that that energy on the glass every night. But like I said, um, you know, every guy, you know, tonight, uh, you know, I thought did a great job when they when they came in, stepped in, you know, just play hard, play with energy and just, you know, competed for 40 minutes. I agree with Trent. Um... I think it was the togetherness today. Um, you know, we elevated each other. We had 18 assists in one basketball game. That's really great, like Coach told us just now. Um, you know, it's, it's just elevating each other, playing for each other, you know, sharing the ball, you know, coming back on defense and playing for the guy beside you. And we did that really well today. Thanks. Okay, we'll go uh, Gabby, go ahead and enjoy Wagner. Try. it seemed like or after the last loss, um, Coach was just kind of upset. Um, and said that you guys were going to have a couple meetings. What was practice like the last couple of days, and how do you think that guy that like translated onto the court tonight? Um, I mean, we just competed more in practice. You know, that's what it's all about. Um, I think, uh, you know, obviously, you know, we had that stretch, those two losses at home. Um, you know, we we competed for for half. You know, we didn't put forty minutes together. So, you know, I think this past week, you know, uh, coach did a really good job uh, with with the game. I mean, the practice plan of, you know, just figuring different things out, you know, putting different lineups on, you know, trying to figure out, you know, trying to find out five guys that's going to compete for 40 minutes, you know, from start to finish. And, you know, and that's what he did, you know, and, you know, we just have one team goal right now and that's the win, you know, and I just thought we, we got better, you know, tonight and we took a step forward. And then Kofi, I'm sure you saw, but you kind of annihilated a cardboard cutout on one of those blocks. I mean, it just looks like you were in a really good rhythm on defense tonight. What do you think was, kind of helping you do that it's just the energy man like like as much as it doesn't look like it but like we feed off each other and and these guys have been really great um these past couple of days preparing for the game the energy been great um we've been connected you know we show a lot of love like we we've been pounding each other um a lot you know just elevating each other and playing for each other tonight today the energy was well from the jump um Aya told me he said I want you to be the best player you could be Trent told me that every day. He said, every game I need you to come out and be the best player you could be. So that confidence that they have in me, it just helps a lot with my energy coming out, knowing that, yeah, I got to have their back because they trust me and they believe in me. So it's just about, you know, feeding off their energy and just making sure that I'm not an energy sucker, but I'm an energy giver. Thanks, guys. Yeah, we'll go to Joey and then Brandon. Go ahead, Joey. Hey, Kofi, we saw Jake in the starting lineup tonight, and it looked like he was passing pretty well outside of that pinch post there. What what did he bring to you guys from that spot tonight? I think he brings the same thing that DeMonte brings, you know, high energy, um, capable, uh, capable of knocking a three-pointer down, you know. That's a really good college basketball player. Like, he makes the right plays, and I think that Jake plays for us. Um, he, he offensive rebounds well. He, he, he always brings that, that motor, you know, like he never gives up on the play. And that's what, that's what we need from him. You know, coach tells him every day in practice that we need this from you and he comes out and he gives it. So he's just a good person that, that, that he's dedicated to the team and our, and our goal, basically. So he's just dedicated to, into doing whatever it takes to win. Thank you. Okay, Brandon, you're up. Matt Stevens on deck. Kofi, Penn State kind of rallied back in the first half to make it 17-17. And then you guys were able to finish the half strong. What was maybe different tonight in the first half compared to other nights? Yeah, 
like I said, that's our energy level, you know. Um, when we play connected and we play with that, that, eff that extra effort, um, it's, it's really hard to beat us. And coach emphasized that a lot in practice, preparing for these games. Like Trent said earlier, you know, we did a really good job with just being connected and just make, making sure we pay attention to scouts and make sure that we're really, really connected on what we're doing in the game. And that helps a lot, you know, just coming out there, you know, having that energy, you know, not playing for one half, like Trent said this now, it's about playing for two halves. And when we do that, we're really, really good and it's hard to beat us. And then Trent, it's, it's hard not to notice Coleman Hawkins on the bench. You know, he's pretty active. He's pretty energetic. Is that what he's always like at practice and off the court? Um, yeah, um, that's, I mean, that's the energy he brings, you know, in the locker room, uh, you know, when we're hanging out together, you know, that's just his personality. You know, um, obviously with no fans, you know, we try to, you know, um, our bench, you know, we try to get into it as much as you can and bring as much energy as we can because, you know, uh, we're, our, we're our only fans we got. So, um, Coleman does a great job with that. You know, the bench guys do a great job, you know, just providing energy, you know, and that spark, you know, from the beginning to the end, you know, uh, just helping guys out, you know, giving guys confidence. It's just like Kobe said, you know, when we're elevating each other and we're, we're playing for one goal, you know, we're just helping each other out and giving each other uh, the utmost confidence, you know. Uh, it's so much fun, you know, to play basketball out there for 40 minutes, you know, just seeing smiles, everybody playing hard, diving on balls, you know, that energy is crazy, so. We feed off each other, and you know that's we, we just got to continue to do that for uh, 40 minutes every game. Okay, uh, Matt Stevens, Alec, and then Derek Piper. Go ahead, Matt. Kofi, Saturday it just seemed like the foul line was the last place in the world you wanted to be, and tonight you made nine of 13. Can you just talk about the attitude difference you might have had tonight going to the line and, and you being able to confidently, you know, go up there and make nine of 13? Like you, just, like you said just now, confidently going up there and making it, um, it's just, that's just confidence, you know, like, I felt like the starting off the season like that, like starting off missing, it kind of kind of got to me, you know, I started pausing my shot, you know, and started doing all different kind of stuff with my my shot, and it was just coach, you know, he got on me so much, he said, I'm really good when I'm making free throws because guys want to, foul, guys have to foul me to stop me, so it's just extra hours in the gym, you know, putting up 300 makes a day, you know, with coach, and just making sure that I step up to the line with confidence and knock the shot down the way I could. Thanks, Kofi. Hey, hey Kofi. Alex, go ahead. Thanks, Kent. Hey, Kofi, you've strung together, I think, six double-doubles now. Obviously, I think this was one of your better performances. Do you think this was maybe the most complete performance you've had this season? Definitely. I think that I gave I gave a lot today, you know, and my team gave a lot today, and they, they allowed me to be great, whether it was finding me finding me on, on, on the offensive end, you know, motivating me on the defensive end, talking to me when I get off the floor, making sure I stay engaged. And I, I think that was one of my best games, best and then one, games. And then one last quick follow-up. I wasn't able to be at the game tonight, but on TV you could hear the air kind of come out of the ball on that last block. Have you had a block that hard before? That's definitely top five. Thanks, Kofi. Okay, Derek Piper and then Scott Ritchie. Go ahead, Derek. For both you guys, just the way you moved the ball, especially early on against that zone, seemed to, to really open up some good looks. Kofi, uh, you had an assist kicking it out to Adam. Just uh, what went into that and what did you like about the way the ball was popping? Like I said, you know, we had a, we had a, we had a team bonding moment where we, we came together as a, as a team and we spoke about certain stuff. and. We emphasized this like last year when we had that, that, that long stretch where we were playing really good. We were playing our best basketball before the, the season got canceled, unfortunately. That's how we were playing. We were elevating each other, you know? And I I just have to like, I basically feel like I have to be about it. I can't just talk about it, you know? Cause I try to tell guys every day, elevate each other, play for each other. So I feel like in that moment, I saw him, he was open. He had the better shot. So it was just about, you know, finding him, making trusting him that he was gonna make the shot. And that's what it's all about. Playing for each other, trusting each other to make the shot, make the extra pass. You know, giving up a good good shot for a, for a great shot. Um, like Kobe said, um, I think that's the big that's the biggest thing. Um, just giving guys, just giving guys um confidence. You know, when when it's their time to shoot, just giving up good shots for great shots every time. You know, and I don't know, we had a total of eighteen assists tonight. You know, that's incredible numbers. Just. You know, us moving the ball around, um, even when your shot's not falling, you know, just continue to help a guy out, you know, keep giving him the ball, make sure he, you know, he that next shot's going to go down. Uh, that's just, that helps a lot. So, um, like Kobe said, you know, just elevating each other and just making sure, you know, we keep sharing the ball and, you know, just keep moving the ball and just, you know, sacrificing for, you know, the next man up. 
And one more for Kofi. When Andre came out of the game late, uh, had a turnover there, didn't seem like Brad maybe said too much to him, maybe let you do some of the coaching. Uh, what kind of message do you want to send to him there? Um, yeah, Brad, Brad, he trusts me a lot, but, you know, just trying to be a leader and, and you know, knowing what's best for the team and, you know, helping, helping the younger guys out. Um, Andre Cabela is in a position where I used to be. He's one of the best freshmen I've seen in a long, long time. In, in case of this mental and physical, you know, being able to do what he do. And I went through that same thing last year, you know, with just, just my confidence, you know, when like when I have a bad game or when I make a bad play and come out the game, like just holding my head down. So I feel like I'm more, I'm in a position to help him more than coach would be because I, 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 I'm, I'm experiencing that in that field. So it's just about like, I just call, call him, you know, told him that, yo, things are going to be better. It's not, it's not going to be like that forever. You're a great player and you just have to find the confidence to know that, yo, next play, next play. Basketball is really forget forgetful game. You know, you can't dwell on the past. You have to, you know, look forward. That's how you help your team and help yourself. So I just basically gave him that message, told him that he's going to be great. Thanks, guys. Hey, we'll wrap up with Scott Ritchie. Go ahead, Scott. Uh, yeah, this one could be for both of you. Just, you know, let's we'll start with Trent, I guess. Uh, you know, Trent, you talked yesterday about, you know, playing 40 minutes. Talked tonight about maybe you guys did. What did you maybe kind of – take from this game that you can you know, keep applying forward and maybe get that type of effort, that type of performance, you know, on a consistent basis. Same mindset, you know, playing for 40 minutes. Um, I said that yesterday when we played for 40 minutes, uh, I truly believe no one could beat us. And we did that tonight. We showed, you know, you know, that outcome. And I just, that's, I mean, that's just, we just got to go on to practice, you know, in game day with that same mindset, just go out there and compete from start to finish and just put a whole 40 minutes together and just play hard, you know, share the ball, just play for each other and just play with, you know, with an all out effort. And, you know, and I truly believe, you know, no one could, could beat us when we play for 40 minutes. So we just got to, you know, continue to stress uh, that, you know, 40 minutes a game and just have that same mindset every day. Yeah. Well, if we kind of same question for you. I covered it, man, you know, covered it. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it.